Hello, and thank you for joining me today for a recording of our live Slow Hatha Flow class from Inside Timer. If you would like to join us for one of our live sessions, you can find the links to our profiles on Inside Timer in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for this channel to stay informed about future events, offerings, and other live sessions. This class is available for all levels, and a reminder that this is your practice, so do what feels good in your body. Namaste. Finding a place, finding a place where you can release, where your hips can relax, your spine can lift tall, your shoulders can let go. Knowing that this is your practice. Do what feels good in your body. If I guide you somewhere and you know a better place to be, I encourage you to find that space. Being mindful when something doesn't feel quite right. Making the appropriate modification that you might need. So wherever you've ended up, just taking a few moments to breathe. And to begin to notice your breath. Beginning to notice where in your body your breath is moving. Noticing any resistance or hesitation within your breath. And taking one deep clearing breath here, a full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing a slow, steady breath to find you. Allowing your awareness to shift to the ground beneath your hips. the air as it touches your skin. Noticing any thoughts that might have joined you on your mat this morning. Just taking a moment to acknowledge that they are there without engaging allowing them to finish what they need to before moving off. And taking one more full breath here, full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. Allowing your hands to come toward your knees. And beginning to take some big circles of your upper body around your hips. Thinking of like a mortar and pestle, allowing your spine to rotate around your pelvis in either direction.
Taking one more revolution in this direction. And a pause when your chest is drawing forward. Pausing there and then moving in your other direction. Be small circles or big circles. As you move, noticing how your body feels this morning. Noticing anything that might feel different than it normally does. And taking one more revolution in this direction. And once more pausing when your chest is drawing forward. And releasing your hands out in front of you. We're going to find a forward fold from here. Letting your arms begin to reach out long. And staying right here, we're going to find some side bends in this space. Letting your hands begin to walk out towards the left side of your body. Being mindful to keep length in both side bodies. Maybe letting that left arm reach a little bit further out long. And letting your right hip begin to draw back down towards your mat. One more breath here, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, slowly coming back through center, finding your length. Then moving over on towards the other side. And maybe letting your right arm Reach a little bit longer on the side, left hip drawing back down to your mat. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, coming back through center, finding length. Just one breath to exhale, folding in, releasing everything down. And you're ready, rising back up. And letting your hands come behind your back. About a foot or so. You can find a heart opener here. Fingers can face any direction that feels good for you. I'm taking a nice big shoulder roll. Shoulder blades hugging towards each other. And down your back. Chest lifting tall. Taking your head and neck wherever feels good for you. Maybe gazing forward, maybe gazing up, maybe lifting your chin up towards the ceiling. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in and out. Gently bending your elbows to release. And we're going to find your way into your tabletop on your hands and your knees. Rock over your shins or swing your feet around to the side. 
however you'd like to get there. And initially taking any movement or motion that might feel good. Maybe some hip sways or some circles. Maybe a few cat cows. Exploring how your hips, shoulders, and spine are feeling this morning. Giving yourself another breath or two to even out your movements. We're gonna initially work into your feet just a little bit. So letting your toes start to curl underneath you, maybe using your hands to help your pinky toes get there if they don't wanna quite get there. You could stay here in your tabletop or beginning to shift your weight towards your heels. Maybe your hips start to shift back. Maybe your hands start to walk back a little bit. If it feels okay for you, maybe walking your hands up to your thighs to sit tall. Just being mindful about where your heels are, letting them hug in towards each other, the splaying out towards the sides. And one teacher used to call this toe crunch asana. We're not going to be here too long. So one more deep breath in. And out. If you're up tall, gently coming back into your tabletop. And letting your toes and feet release out. Maybe a light tap of your feet on your mat. Then moving into our balancing table. Letting your right leg begin to extend out behind you. Letting your toes curl, on, curl under once more, but here beginning to press into your heel. Staying right here, maybe your left arm starts to walk out long. You can stand to your fingertips or letting the left arm begin to float. Maybe your right foot begins to float. Navel hugging in and up. And one more breath, a deep breath in and out. Letting your left hand release, your right knee to release down. Taking any counter movement that might feel good. And moving on to the other side, letting your left leg begin to extend out behind you. Again, toes curling under, beginning to press into your heel, opening up through the back of your leg. Staying right here, maybe the right arm starts to walk out to your fingertips. Maybe the hand floats. Maybe your foot begins to float. And finding your breath. Slow, deep breaths in. And out. One more breath right here, deep breath in. And out. Letting your right hand, your left knee release down. Once more, any counter movement that you might need. We're gonna find your downward facing dog, curling your toes and letting your hips begin to press up and back. You can find a pedal of your feet, maybe bending one knee and then the other. Allowing your movements to be slow and connected with your breath. Eventually finding some stillness here. Chest drawing back towards your thighs. Taking 
one deep breath, a full deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising high into your toes and walking your feet towards your hands. Maybe your hands back towards your feet. It's finding a gentle forward fold, a soft bend to your knees. Bring your head and neck to release. You can shake your head yes and no. Shake your head maybe. Taking a slightly deeper bend into your knees and slowly rolling up to stand. A big shoulder roll at the top. Maybe a few more revolutions. Full range of motion in your shoulder joints. And finding your mountain pose, your Tadasana. Your feet can be together about hip width apart. Standing as tall as you can, arms releasing out by your sides. And once more, connecting in with your breath. Noticing the ground beneath your feet. The air as it touches your skin. Noticing this breath. Full deep breath in. And out. Your next inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhaling to your half lift, bending length through your spine. Exhale to fold. Strong legs, inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall, rising tall. As you exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing here for a breath, a full deep breath in. And out. One more just like that. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, as you exhale, forward fold. Inhaling to your half lift. Exhale to fold. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall, rising tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Pausing here for another breath, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead to reach tall. As you exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhaling to your half lift. As you exhale, forward fold. And we're gonna pause here in an active fold. Allowing the crown of your head to begin to draw down towards the ground, your hips up towards the ceiling. Taking any bind that might be in your practice. Maybe your big toes with your peace fingers, your hands under your feet. You can have your hands the blocks or your legs, anywhere that feels right for you.
And taking one more breath wherever you've ended up. A full deep breath in. And out. Gently releasing your binds. Your next inhale, finding your half lift. As you exhale, stepping back into your plank, the top of your push up. Taking a full deep breath in here. As you exhale, your chaturanga or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. And stepping your feet together, your toe mounds to touch. Finding your three legged dog, letting your right leg begin to float up towards the sky, pressing firm into your right heel. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, stepping forward into a low lunge, right foot stepping by your right wrist, left knee coming down onto your mat, hips drawing forward and down. And stay right here with your hands on the ground, maybe moving your hands to blocks or up to your right knee. Going to be here for just a little bit, so if you need a little extra padding under your left knee, now's a nice time to find that perfect space for you. But wherever you end up, allowing your hips to begin to draw forward and down. Full deep breaths in and out. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in. And out. Letting your hands come down to frame your front foot, your right foot. Hips beginning to shift up and back, finding our half splits. Think about your left hip right above the left knee. Maybe your right foot scoots a little bit more forward if you need it to. You can have a straight leg or a bent knee. If you have tight hamstrings, a bent knee feels nice to find that perfect space. Taking a deep breath in to find length. A deep breath out to fold. Taking one more breath here, a deep breath in and out. And bending back into your front knee, finding our low lunge once more, then moving into our lizard lunge, walking your right foot over towards the right side of your mat, both hands coming onto that inside edge. Letting your knee begin to hug in towards your shoulder. You can stay here on your palms, so if you want to work a little bit deeper, you can lower your forearms the blocks or towards the ground. But wherever you end up, allowing your chest and your heart space to open up towards the front side of your mat. Connecting in with your full deep breaths in. 
and out. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back up onto your palms. We're gonna prepare for a twist here. Letting your left hand begin to ground, right hand coming towards your right knee, taking a breath in to find your length, and a breath out to find your twist. And stay with the hand on your knee Maybe your right arm opening up. If you're feeling adventurous today, maybe bending into your back knee, reaching back for your foot. You have your back foot gently to release. Taking one more breath here, deep breath in and out. Releasing your right hand back down to your mat. We're gonna find your table. So letting your hips begin to shift up and back. Right knee stepping back to meet your left. No fancy transition. Taking any movement or motion that might feel good. Maybe even a child's pose. Then eventually we're gonna meet back in your downward facing dog. There's no rush to get there. You're welcome to stay right here. We're gonna go through that flow we did earlier. As you inhale, waving forward into your plank. As you exhale, your chaturanga or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling to your downward facing dog. Moving into our three legged dog. Stepping your toe mounds to touch and letting your left leg begin to extend behind you. Pressing into your heel, reaching long from your fingertips. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, stepping your left foot forward, your low lunge. Left foot by your left wrist, right knee coming down onto your mat. And finding that perfect space for this side of your body. Left and right are always gonna feel a little bit different. So finding that perfect space for here. Maybe your hands on the ground to blocks or up to your left knee. Allowing your hips to continue to draw forward and down. And staying with your breath. Slow, deep breaths in and out. One more breath here, deep breath in 
and out. Gently releasing your hands down to frame your front foot, finding your half splits. Hips beginning to shift up and back. Maybe your left foot scoots a little bit further forward. You can finding either a straight leg or your bent knee. Taking a deep breath in to find length and a breath out to find your fold. One more breath here, deep breath in. And out. Bending back into your front knee. Passing through our low lunge over to your lizard lunge, letting the left foot walk towards the left side of your mat. Both hands coming onto that inside edge. Hips drawing forward and down. Once more, staying here, lowering your forearms the blocks or towards the ground. Wherever you end up, allowing your chest, heart space to open up. The slow, steady breath. Deep breath in. And out. Full deep breath in and out. Rising back up onto your palms, we're going to find our twist, grounding into your right hand, left hand coming towards your left knee, taking a deep breath in to find your length, and a breath out to find your twist. Maybe the hand stays at the knee. You can open up. If you did so on the other side and it feels okay, maybe bending onto your right knee, reaching back for your foot. Finding that perfect space for here. one more deep breath in and out. If you have your back foot gently to release, slowly releasing your left hand down to meet your right. We're gonna find our table, hip shifting up and back, left knee stepping to meet your right. Maybe a few hip circles or sways side to side. Hopefully our hips are starting to feel a little bit more even left to right. We're gonna pause in your child's pose. Your knees can be together a little bit wider apart, hips drawing back towards your heels, chest, forearms, head, neck, gently to release. And finding a place 
where you can release, where you can let go, whatever that looks like, wherever that is. And once you are there, taking two deep breaths, full deep breaths in, and out. One more deep breath in, and out. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need. When you're ready, slowly rising up into your table and curling your toes and pressing back to your downward facing dog. Staying right here, we're gonna go through that flow one final time this morning. As you inhale, waving forward into your plank, top of your push up, exhale, chaturanga, or your knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, rising high into your toes and walking your feet towards your hands, maybe your hands towards your feet, finding a gentle forward fold once more. This time, maybe letting your feet come a little bit wider and taking your opposite elbows. Find a little rock of your shoulders and upper body from side to side. Gently to release your arms and move into your squat, your malasana. Your feet can be hip width apart, a little bit wider. Maybe your toes flaring out towards the sides. You can have your hands on the ground and letting your knees start to bend. Pausing wherever you feel stable and strong. If it feels okay to come all the way down to a deeper squat, you're welcome to do so. Maybe hands coming to your heart center. wherever you end up here, finding your breath. One more deep breath in. And out. And making our way into a seat, however you'd like to get there. And bring your hands down behind you. Letting your feet come up out mat width apart. Nice bend to your knees and find a little windshield wiper side to side. And a full range of motion in your hip joints. Moving into our bound angle, Baddha Konasana. Letting the soles of your feet come together, heels coming as tight towards your hips as feels okay on your hips, knees, and ankles. Allowing your knees to begin to press out and down. Finding length through your spine and staying right here. We're finding a soft fold forward. Allowing your legs to stay active and strong. Your breath slow and steady.
taking one more breath, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up, and letting your feet scoot a little bit further out in front of you. It's a nice diamond shape, so about the same distance from heels to groin as from knee to knee. Feels uncomfortable to have the knees opening, can always bring some support underneath your legs. Taking a deep breath in to find your length, a breath out to find your fold. Imagining your forehead resting on the soles of your feet. And taking one more breath here, deep breath in and out. As you inhale, rising back up, letting your legs begin to extend all the way out long in front of you, finding your Paschimottanasana, a seated forward fold. Your feet can be together, hip width apart, or a little bit wider straight leg or a bent knee, finding that perfect fold for you. Taking a deep breath in to find length and a breath out to find your fold. One more breath here, a deep breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising back up. We're gonna make your way all the way onto your backs, slowly rolling all the way down. Once you get there, allowing your knees to hug into your chest, Give yourself a nice big hug. Maybe find a few rocks side to side or some circles of your knees around your hips together or independently. Staying right here, you're gonna find your happy baby, letting your knees begin to draw towards your armpits. Your feet up towards the ceiling. You can take a hold of behind your thighs, your ankles, maybe your feet. Allowing your shoulders to relax down onto your mat. Chest opening up. One more 
breath here, deep breath in and out. Letting your knees hug back into your chest. You're gonna move into a reclined twist. So any version of a twist that feels good for you. Letting your knees begin to draw over towards the left side of your body, arms opening out into a T. Wherever you are, finding a space where you can begin to let go. Allowing this time to be preparation for your shavasana, your relaxation. So moving into your twist. And taking one deep releasing breath here. Full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. breath here, deep breath in, and out. Slowly coming back through center, pausing here to realign your hips, your spine, any movements or motions you might need before moving over onto your other side. Taking the same variation you took on the first. And your knees draw over, arms opening up into a T. And taking your releasing breath here, deep breath in. A big sigh out. One more breath here, deep breath in and out. And slowly coming back through center. 
taking any final movements or motions you might need before your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Let your legs extend out long. Anywhere else that feels right for you. Finding that place where you can be most comfortable. Whatever that looks like, however much space that takes up. And allowing yourself the time and space to let go. Releasing control of your body. Releasing control of your breath. Releasing control of your thoughts.
you begin to deepen your inhalations and your exhalations, allowing with each breath life, energy, and movement to make its way into your fingers and toes, your arms and legs, back in through your head and neck. Slowly rolling over onto your side, pausing there for one deep clearing breath. Full deep breath in. And a big sigh out. And gently making your way up into a comfortable seat. Thank you all so much for sharing your time, space, and energy with me and with everyone else. The Light in Me season honors the light in each of you. Namaste.